Hello folks, welcome back to another video and welcome back to Rally Top Investing. Break of structure, the secret power of the market. That's the topic we're going to be discussing right now. Okay, why am I doing this video? It is because I've seen lots of traders marking the wrong structure points as they are valid break of structure. I know that in the forest market, no one is right and no one is wrong. But I just feel that I need to bring this to our knowledge that there is what is known as a valid break of structure and we must learn to understand or to identify a valid break of structure. A lot of traders are marking manipulation in the market as a break of structure and this is wrong all right you must be able to differentiate between a, a valid break of structure and manipulation in the market okay now why do we have to pay great attention to the importance of a, a break of structure well number one is because it is the footprint of the smart money once you find a break of structure it indicates to you that the institutions are involved in the market that is if that break of structure is a valid break of structure and i will tell you how it should be valid all right it shows to you that the institutions are already involved in the market and because we want to trade along with the institutions, we need to wait for their footprint in the market. That's the first reason why you need to pay very good attention to the topic of break of structure. Number two reason is this. It indicates to us as smart money traders the overall intention of, this institu of the institutions. All right? That is, it reveals to us where the institution is heading for instance if there is a break a valid break of structure to the upside we can be confident enough to say the smart money might probably be wanting to go long and if it breaks to the downside then we might be understanding that the smart money wants to go short okay and then thirdly, why you need to pay great attention to the concept of break of structure is because it affords us as smart money traders to buy cheap in the market and sell expensive. All right? These are the three major points why you need to consider the concept of break of structure very seriously. Once you miss to mark the correct break of structure in the market, you can be sure that your point of interest will also become invalid. All right? I want you to know that. Now, when we talk about break of structure, what do we mean? Well, we, are, we mean simply price breaking above or below a swing point. All right? Simple as that. Take a look. Price rallied up and retraced, went back up to take out this previous high here. This is what is known as a break of structure. All right? That's what is known as a break of structure. Now, how do you determine a valid break of structure? Because I don't intend to make this video too long. How do you determine a valid break of structure? Very simple. I give you some rules, like two or three rules. Three most important rules. Okay? Number one, you want to see your break of structure. All right? Happen or occur with aggressiveness. What do I mean? You need an aggressive break of structure. What do I mean? When we talk about break of structure, actually what we are talking about is the candle that ends up breaking this swing point here. For instance, in this bullish structure, the candle that breaks this swing point determines whether your break of structure is a valid break or not. You want to see a momentum candle break this structure high here 
Okay? And in my own case, I give myself this rule, even though it is not a strict rule that you can follow, but it adds some confidence to the validity of your break of structure. Now, I usually want to look out for two candles that break that structure. That is, I want to see a momentum candle break this swing high here, in the case of this uptrend, followed by another bullish strong candle. Alright? That's what I want to see. Now, if you have three, four, five candles break a structure, it becomes very, very good. Why is it? It is because it shows to you that the smart money is involved in the market and that the smart money has the intention to push price higher. Okay? That's number one. You need an aggressive break. You don't want to mark a break of structure with a pin break. A lot of traders are marking their break of structure with a pin break. That pin break that you consider as a valid break of structure is simply manipulation in the market. Alright? And what do you expect from manipulation? After manipulation, that the smart money has swept the liquidity. What do you expect? You want it to come back. You don't want you, manipulations will not come back to respect your POI and go back up. All right, so you need to differentiate between manipulation and a valid break of structure. So the first point in determining your valid break of structure is to find a break of structure that is aggressive. Okay, that's number one condition you need to look out for. Okay, now number two condition is that you want to see the break of structure create a room a room such as this take a look at this room where you find my cursor this room is very important if you must be consistently profitable in the market when price retraces price wants to retrace into a room created by the market without a room for market to travel back into it will not come back and respect your POI all right so you need to see this room in the market and for you to see this room in the market you need an aggressive break of that structure okay you need to look out for these two things very very important guys very important very very important let me repeat again you don't want to see a pin break of structure and mark it as a valid break of structure a lot of traders are doing that and this is killing their account in the market if you are the type of trader that does that please stop stop it okay all right so let me show you what i mean quickly on the chart i don't intend to make this video long now take a look let's start from here Let's use the replay tool to help us really identify what we are saying. Okay? Now, uh, let's take a look. Take a look at this. This is a break of structure. This point here. It's a break of structure. Alright? Now, is that a valid break of structure? Well, you could say yes. Look at it very well. Is that a valid break of structure? Does it break that structure with aggressiveness, with momentum? Let's see the next candle that follows. Take a look. Can you see the next candle that follows? After this break, take a look. A bullish candle was printed. Is that a valid break of structure? Certainly no. Well, how do you know whether it is a valid break or not? Well, if it is a valid break of structure, then this ob it will return this this ob will be mitigated this ob will be mitigated with this leg that goes up all right so let's play price and see can you see that guys did it mitigate the ob no why 
democracy was not a very break of structure. This break of structure here didn't show to us or didn't indicate to us that the institutions are already involved in the market. The institutions were not involved. And so, Price couldn't get back to mitigate, mitigate this very OB here. And so, Price had to go down again. Now, take a look at this break of structure and tell me what it is. What do you think about this break of structure, guys? Take a look at this. Is this a valid break of structure? Yes, this is a valid break of structure. Why? Take a look at this momentum candle that broke this structure. Take a look at the upper part of this candle. All right? And take a look at the lower part, the size of this lower part. Is it not more than the size of the upper part? This is an aggressive break of structure. And it is followed, all right, by another bearish candle. Okay? This shows to us that smart money has now come into the market. And so, this OB here is likely to hold price. All right? It's likely to hold price. We don't know. But let's, if we were to take a trip from here, we want to sell the market from here, all right? Because that must be an aggressive, that is an aggressive break of structure from, according by me, all right? So, but let's see the low. Where is the low? All right, so we take our profit here. Take a look. We come to this low here. To take our profit and that will give us 4.14 rr okay to give us 4.14 rr so let's play price and see what happens let's see what price we do all right price taps into our ob and let's see whether it will go our way now can you see that Let's continue to play price. It has not hit our take profit. It is yet to hit our take profit. Can you see that, guys? Can you see that? So, that is example number one. Okay? That's example number one. Let's uh, do one more example. Another example. Now, take a look. Take a look at this break. Take a look at this break here. All right, this is the last point of the break. Okay, this is another break of structure. All right, is that an aggressive break? Is this an aggressive break of structure? Yes, of course, it is. Take a look at this candle that broke the structure and take a look at the candle that followed after the break of structure. Take a look at the momentum of that candle that followed after that break of structure. That's a valid break of structure. That's a valid break of structure. And because it is a valid break of structure, then we can look to take our trade from this point of interest here. This will be here. All right? So let's frame that out. If we were to take our point of our trade from here, all right? We want to sell the market from there. Okay? So this is where we take profit this low is where we want to take profit and that will give us 5.15 rr all right that is if it goes our way let's play price let's see whether it will go our way now it has hit our take profit can you see that has hit our take profit now let's do this one again sorry let me take out uh, let me take out this one this one if, so that it doesn't uh, clutter the charts all right so take a look at this break of structure take a look at this break of structure is that a valid, a valid break of structure take a look at it even though this candle has momentum, but take a look at the upper, the size of the upper part of the candle above this break of structure, and take a look at the lower part of the candle that broke the structure. Very little size, all right, compared to the upper part. And take a look at the bearish candle that followed. 
will you now say this is a valid break of structure? Certainly no. And because of that, this point of interest here may likely, price may not likely get to this point of interest on this very leg that we retrace back up. Alright? Let's play price and see. I do not think it will get there. I don't know, but let's play price and see. Can you see that, guys? Can you see what is happening there? Can you see what is happening there? Can you see what is happening? Now, because this was not a valid break of structure, the institutions were not involved here. Do you understand? So, they had to push price up and then came back down to make sure that there is momentum to create space, matching all the ones have been showing you look at the space created here look at the space price has to travel back into take a look at this one look at the space price has to travel back into without the space price take a look at this one why this one did not go back here it's because there was no space here to travel back into all right you need to have space all right for your uh, price to travel back into now since price has broken the structure here again, this is where we now have our valid break of structure. Because after that break, price continued down, and now there is enough space here, and this is our OB. So let's frame that our OB. Let's frame it. This is our OB. We want price to come into this our OB, and uh, we take trade from there all right and then we'll target this uh, very low we target this this relatively equal lows here all right and that will give us six rr all right six percent of our so let's play price and see Price is yet to hit our take profit. We can never be hundred percent correct. Right? Can you see now, guys? You see that price has hit our take profit. Okay. So, guys, this is the way for you to understand your valid break of structure. All right? It's as simple as that. There is no point to overcomplicate things what we are teaching here on this channel or in this channel you don't find it for free anywhere else all right we are giving up value all right in this channel and that was why we created this channel okay so please if this is your first time you have not subscribed to our channel please consider doing so just immediately all right when you do that you encourage us to do more of such videos for others to also benefit from what we are giving out for free all right guys and if you enjoyed this content please don't forget to give us a like comment and share with your friends and families and please if you are yet to join our free telegram group please do so just immediately because by next weekend our free masterclass is going to hold and the condition the qualification for being a partaker of that free masterclass is for you to be a member of our free telegram group and subscribe to our youtube channel okay if don't use different names for these two different platforms use one name so that we can be able to identify you easily if you use different names then we will not be able to identify you easily and then you will be disqualified. All right? Please subscribe to our channel, our YouTube channel, and join our free Telegram group. Link in the description. Okay, guys. I'll see you in our next video.